The lionfish is an invasive species. It's also Darwin's nightmare. In its native home of the Indo-Pacific, the lionfish is a fierce, unrelenting predator. In the mid-1980s, exotic pets, including lionfish, became popular in the U.S. Scientists suspect pet owners eventually dumped their adult lionfish in the Atlantic. The lionfish now threatens ecosystems up and down the Atlantic. But they should watch out. A new robot is entering the fray. Meet the Lionfish Terminator. To learn about this robot, we traveled here to Bermuda, where we teamed up with the Necton mission. This new alliance of 30 scientific organizations and companies wants to conduct one of the largest marine life surveys in history. These divers are the first 90, 100 meters, and then these extraordinary submersibles go down even further. We've adapted them with some of the latest filming and scientific equipment, so we can sample, we can study, and we can research, as well as taking scientists down into those depths. Of the Earth's oceans, only 5% have been explored. That means we know more about the moon than the water that covers 70% of the Earth. Necton wants to fill this knowledge gap by making a baseline measurement of ocean health. That's because our oceans are facing threats, including the spread of invasive species, like the lionfish. Chris Fluke is a collector of marine specimens for the Bermuda Aquarium Museum and Zoo, and he was one of the first to notice the region's lionfish invasion 16 years ago. But then very quickly I started to notice that over time we were losing small fish from these areas where I traditionally went and found lots of small juvenile fish and lionfish were becoming more and more common. Um, so by about 2007 we actually started a culling program of Bermuda to tackle these invasive species. Now known as the Bermuda Lionfish Task Force, the team holds daily dives and fishing tournaments to rid their waters of these invaders. Its members consist of recreational swimmers, professional divers, and even local scientists like Dr. Gretchen Goodbody Greenley. The lionfish are a threat to the ecosystem because, first and foremost, they're voracious predators. So they consume an exorbitant amount of food, more than any other uh, potential predator out there right now. All of the white parts is solidified fat. This is unique to lionfish that they overconsume to the point that they get fatty liver disease. This is because smaller fish in this region don't recognize the lionfish as a threat. They swim right up to it and get gobbled up. Basically, the lionfish just opens its mouth. Nom! It's a big dilemma because the task force can tackle lionfish only in shallow water. But in Bermuda, Good Body Gringley has found most lionfish live 200 feet below the sea surface. That depth is largely inaccessible to the average sport diver. But that's not too deep for a robot. Good Body Gringley and Necton have teamed with a new nonprofit called RISE, or Robotics in the Service of the Environment, that is developing a lionfish hunting robot. The leading candidate is based on an electrofishing technique, where if you put the lionfish between two electrodes and apply an electric current, that current voltage kills the lionfish or stuns the lionfish. The device is in its development phase, and dive teams are testing how lionfish might react to a robot arm with two metal electrode plates. The lionfish have few predators in the Atlantic. As a result, they're not conditioned to flee anything. Notice here, when the probe approaches from behind, the lionfish stays still. Salt water is highly conductive, so it should act almost like a straight wire between the two electrodes. That should keep other nearby fish from being stunned. But is the mass killing of lionfish ethical? The lionfish is a pest, but it's also a living creature. We spoke with ocean ecologist James Morris. We harvest fish all over the U.S. and the planet, so um, you know I don't think there's really any ethical issues with you know with utilizing the resource. But if we're looking for an ethical question, it, it's one around introducing non-native species and the impacts that it has um, on the region and the and specifically the biodiversity. We'd love to hear what you think about this, so feel free to email us or leave a comment wherever you watch this video. That's it for now. I'm Seacon Akpan, and this is SciScope from the PBS NewsHour.